Vidit Gujarati crushes Hikaru Nakamura, who is one of the top chess players in the world. And Nakamura starts the game with e4 and e5 in response. Knight f3 and knight to c6. Bishop goes in and attacks the knight. So this is the Berlin defense of the uh, Royal Offers. So if you pawn is capped, uh, attack here and if this knight, this pawn can be recaptured. So d3 and after that bishop to c5 and c3 is pushed allowing the bishop to retreat to this case this uh, square and also to pushing of d4 castles on the uh, king side both the players and after that d6 is pushed here so after uh, now knight to e7 and hikaru pushes to d4 attacking the bishop center and a counter attack on Hikaru. So uh, he brings the bishop back to the d3 onto this open light square diagonal where it's the most active and can form a battery with the queen attacking uh, with its king. So mm. uh, after d into e5, with it captures back with his pawn. Now, this bishop here is a bit dangerous piece, the dark square bishop. And this pawn here is effectively pinned. Uh, so he got a goes for the capture of the pawn. And now comes the move. Bishop captures the h3 pawn. A, an intended sacrifice, basically. And Hikaru is debilitating whether to go for it. And he brings the knight to c4, which is a mistake. The best move was to capture the bishop here. So here, yeah, with it, is slightly better due to this. Uh, uh, kind of a mistake by Hikaru which started start the uh, beginning of the end for him and uh, bishop to g4 now attacking the queen queen can go to c2 and Hikaru does that and create this back attacking the which is king with it drops the bishop to c7 and now as you can see these dark square diagonals are pretty weak for Hikaru and uh, he can with it can just simply bring his queen and attack and which is what happens in the game e5 is pushed attacking the knight and, and closing off this particular one of the diagonals and knight d7 and the captures the pawn and the king moves immediately from the check here so because of the battery form this pawn was captured He brings the bishop back, but the best move was to bring the queen to e4. Which is response by pushing the pawn to b5, but his best move was pushing f5. Here Hikaru's knight is attacked and it retrieves to e3, attacking this well-placed bishop, which is a good move. got this battery going here with the captures the pawn with the knight pawn on e5 and attack, attacking the bishop and here he does the mistake and bring the bishop to e2 the best move was to capture the bishop on c4 so uh, pawn push to f5 supporting the bishop so in case of a capture you can capture with the knight and this knight here towards the king is a dangerous piece. So f4 is pushed, which is a uh, mistake. And, and here with it is very, very better. And he brings his bishop to b6, basically pinning the knight. And this is a very, very big weakness. And here uh, with it is much, much better even in this position right now. So uh, king comes up to f2 now. Knight d5. Putting in more pressure on the pin knight. So 
So Rook places the check and with it just moves the king away from the check and Hikaru is still was in this situation and with it is better. So he goes for the capture of the pawn. The F pawn captures. Not the pawn, I think it's the it's the knight, sorry. So Queen comes to G5 by with it bringing the queen and attacking the pressure on the knight and king to e1 is a big blunder the best move was to push the pawn to c4 with it goes for the capture of the knight with his bishop but capturing with the knight was the best move Garou reviewing the position is pretty devastated you could say he goes for the capture of the bishop looking for the trade of trading of those bishops <coughs> with it just captures with his queen queen captures on g4 Garou captures Bishop captures the bishop. Now knight will capture back with an attack on the queen, and queen comes to e2, trying for this queen exchange. But there is no need to exchange. Go with it. It is bringing simply bring the queen to g3 and get in check. The rooks can swing around, attack the Hikaru's king. It is quite exposed now. So. Uh, the position is much much better for with it and he is winning this position Brings his queen to g3 with a check. King d2 by Hikaru. Just making sure that his calculations is right. He brings his rook to d8 with a check and he goes to c1. Queen comes to g5 and there is this support for the knight and also a discovered check probability on push to b3 waiting space for Hikaru's king Hikaru is not amused he knows that he is hotly losing in this situation and knight comes to f1 and Hikaru is looking pretty sad because he knows what's going to happen now. Hikaru Nakamura resigned as of this position. Uh, this knight cannot uh, jump in here because of the triple attack on the square on d2 and uh, even the best possible move is king b2 and after this uh, attack this is uh, basically uh, fork on the queen and the rook and after this uh, following moves this uh, exchange sacrifice happens on push and uh, this is simply winning for with it here and Hikaru Nakamura resigned from this uh, position so they are discussing what happened in the game and I was explaining what's really happened. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll be back with super videos.